Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. The spotlight remains on director Albert Hitchcock for our next film, as it was with our last movie, The Man Who Knew Too Much. And it is another collaboration of Hitch and Jimmy Stewart, this one done two years earlier. It is Rear Window, released by Paramount in 1954. And I do have to say it's one of my own personal favorites from the whole Hitchcock catalog. We all have our favorites, of course, and this would probably be number two on my Hitchcock list, right after Notorious. And for his work on this next film, Hitchcock received his fourth Academy Award nomination as Best Director, competing in a very tough year, which included directors such as Aaliyah Kazan for On the Waterfront, Billy Wilder for Sabrina, William Wellman for The High and the Mighty, and George Seaton for The Country Girl. Our movie nonetheless stood tall among them. And besides Jimmy Stewart, the cast also includes Grace Kelly, Thelma Ritter, Wendell Corey, and Raymond Burr. If it's a movie you don't know, Jimmy plays a photographer with a broken leg, temporarily confined to a wheelchair in his Greenwich Village apartment. And kind of as a way of passing time, he gets out his binoculars and peeps into the apartments of various neighbors. And very soon, he begins to suspect that one of those neighbors may have committed a murder. He ends up putting his own life and that of his fiance in deep trouble. Hitch always said this was his ultimate peeping Tom story. He also said on numerous occasions that it was one of his own favorite Hitchcock films. Certainly has one of the great film sets of all time. An entire Greenwich Village apartment complex built on a Paramount soundstage designed and overseen by art directors Hal Pereira and Joseph McMillan Johnson, which miraculously was not nominated for an Academy Award that year. Hard to believe. Here's the movie complete with Hitchcock making one of his famous cameo appearances from 1954, Rear Window. Such a terrific movie. And this movie, I think, is really particularly amazing because, as we just saw, the entire action takes place inside Jimmy Stewart's apartment. But never does it feel static or claustrophobic because Hitchcock keeps it moving so well and with such suspense and tension. Hitchcock was nominated for an Oscar for his direction on this movie, the final winner of the eight year being Aaliyah Kazan for On the Waterfront. Hitch, you know, never won a competitive Academy Award. His film Rebecca won the Best Picture Prize in 1940, but that Oscar went to the film's producer, David O. Selznick. And years later, the Academy gave Hitchcock the Irving Thalberg Memorial Award for his work as a producer, but that award comes in the form of a bust of Thalberg, not an Oscar statuette. So the little golden guy with the sword never once came Hitchcock's way. Up next, Alfred Hitchcock and Jimmy Stewart team up for another thriller. This one's set in San Francisco, with the blonde and beautiful Kim Novak joining them. This video brought to you by StockerGoGo.com Stock Photos.